<laughs> Welcome to an all new Lay It Omni. Allow me to lay it on you. What's up guys, hope you're having a good one. It's been a really crazy week with Nintendo and the Game Awards and Sephiroth. But we're going to pivot away from that for a little bit, okay? Today we're going to be talking about a very unusual topic. And I'm going to be frank, you know, right off the bat. I'm going to be honest, okay? A large part of me just does not care. The idea of investing time into looking into someone who perhaps cheated in a Minecraft speedrun, which I didn't even know existed. I, you know, I didn't know it was a thing. I'm not too tied into the Minecraft community or anything like that. But yeah, to put it frankly, was not at the top of my what I need to know list. But what made me curious was the sheer number of people who do care like for whatever reason guys this is a big deal everyone's going bananas and losing their minds on the internet over this thing so obviously me being the biggest clown there is i had to join in on the circus and get in on the fun today we're talking about dream again okay he's the super uber biggest minecraft youtuber sitting comfortably at around 14 million subscribers on youtube he's basically the king of minecraft and as i said in a previous video anyone who is the king of minecraft is the king of youtube in a way not really that would be pewdiepie but commanding the minecraft army kids is no small feat anyway what had happened was apparently this youtuber by the name of GeoSquare made this really long 14 minute in-depth review of Dream Speedrun. And apparently it has to do with a specific speedrun that he did where he ranked 16th or something like that during a previous patch of the game. Basically, the integrity of the speedrun was brought into question because of the RNG, which stands for Random Number Generator, involved in Dream's specific speedrun was 1 in 7.5 trillion which is guys <laughs> do you understand how big of a number that is like here I, I, i'll put the number on the screen okay that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten el that's eleven zeros guys like bro like guys if you watch the avengers doctor strange they had a one and fourteen million six hundred and five chance to beat thanos with these odds the chance of beating thanos multiple times in a row is still lower than the RNG Dream got during his speed run. The odds of winning the actual Powerball jackpot is 1 in 292 million, 201,338. And by the way, in case you haven't watched the video and you don't understand, basically when you do a Minecraft speed run, you have to get drops, you have to get certain items, you have to get very, very lucky in order to make the speed run more optimal. So that's when the RNG and the chance comes into play. Minecraft speed running team also had this to say, Dream Investigation results. We would like to apologize for taking so long to address the issue. Being both far more complicated and high profile than previous situations, we wanted to be sure to handle this properly and ensure we made the correct decision. We have decided to reject Dream was Taken's 1924 and 1.16 RSG. It has been demonstrated beyond any reasonable doubt to be illegitimate. We thoroughly investigated every possible reason for his extreme odds, including biased data and Minecraft glitches, and could not find any conceivable explanation. The chance that Dream received his Pearl Barter and Blaze Rod luck is extreme enough that we can be sure this run was as illegitimate as any run we have ever rejected. We would like to reiterate that as stated in the Minecraft speedrun evidence standards linked in the speedrun.com slash MC rules. Rather than disallowing former cheaters from submitting future runs, we place the burden of exhaustive proof on them in order to accept it. And guys, to be honest, I didn't know it was that serious, but apparently it's that serious. Anyway, when I say that this Geo guy, he went in on the science and the math, like yo, he went in. Okay, here's a few clips from the video. Let's take a look at Dream's odds. This isn't exactly a good look. Across six streams, Dream bartered 262 times and got 42 pearl trades, which when plugged into the formula comes in at 1 in 177 billion. Guess what else has a random drop chance in speedruns? Blaze rods. Anyone want to guess what Dream's blaze luck was? 1 in 113 billion. Again, we go into this in much more detail in the paper, and we don't have much time to talk about it here, but the blazes pretty much follow the same logic as the pearls. Here's a graph showing the other runners, and it's pretty obvious they haven't learned how to get dream luck yet. Now, I watched the whole thing, and guys, it's actually very difficult to stop watching once you start. And to be completely honest, it's an extremely well-made video. Like, yo, the presentation, the audio, the motion graphics, this, this guy is really, really smart at making arguments. Like, he's like the nerdy iDubs, bro. Like, this guy will cancel you with math and numbers. He'll divide you by zero and honestly make it impossible for you to respond. Like, if you watch the video, the, the evidence is almost irrefutable. That's literally how strong his argument was here in this video. I'm not even being biased. I'm not even exaggerating. Now, look, I'm not for or against Dream, but the video is extremely well done. As a content creator, I tip my hat to him. And like I said before, I had little to no interest about the situation beforehand, and I was going into the video rather blind. Oh wait, uh, yeah, that's right, I can't say blind. Um, 
It was my first playthrough of the video. And once it was done, I left the video enlightened and smarter than everyone else I've ever known. Anyway, the video was blowing up and as of now, it's number 46 on trending for gaming. And despite the rather large amount of dream stands that dream has, the like ratio is clean and the comments are filled with jokes, trolls, and genuine support for the guy. And by guy, I mean Gio. Here are a few of the comments. As you can see, there's me with the eyes emoji because, you know, I was lurking. I had nothing to say, but I'm, you know, I was in there. I was lurking last night. <laughs> Xiphon tweeted, this is going to be an interesting comment section. Graf tweeted, a uh hoo hoo. Breakout tweeted, imagine faking a Minecraft speedrun. Nightbot tweeted, with these odds, I think Dream is wasting his potential playing Minecraft. He should do lottery speedruns instead. Here Resnick said, came here for drama, got a lesson in statistics and coding instead. Not bad. Carl Job said, have you considered the human element though? Which was hearted by Gio basically implying that this is sarcasm. C-Scoop said, fantastic video. Lorenzo Vega said, no, he's not cheating. The piglins are just dream stands. Sapphire Flame said, the real hate comments were the friends we made along the way. Exploshi said, was it all just a dream? CX said, damn, I really want to believe he didn't cheat, but this doesn't look good at all. Planet Extreme said, as someone who probably would have monetized this given the chance, you're a legend. Qstar said, so proud of you for looking out for the mon- Okay, I'm not going to read all that. It doesn't fit in the screen. z -Colo said, the only people defending dream don't understand how big of a number one trillion is. Anyway, the video gained enough traction for Dream to actually respond on his personal Twitter account, and he was super big baby rage mad about the situation. He tweeted, My 1.16 run was just rejected after research due to it being quote unquote too unlikely to verify. The video was made by a head mod and YouTuber GeoSquared using my name and clickbaiting quote unquote cheating speedrunning in order to get easy views. Definitely a response soon, total BS. I don't know about you guys, but this reads like a Trump tweet. <laughs> <laughs> he goes on, currently have multiple moderators messaging me that they believe that the verdict was biased and that they might quit the mod team. What kind of quote unquote investigation was this? And as you can see, he's definitely trying to discredit this video at, at all means possible. He continued by saying, thank you for the totally unbiased two month, 29 page quote unquote investigation into whether a 16th place run had quote unquote two good luck. That was then made into a clickbait YouTube video by a head moderator. What a shocker. And guys, by the way, when I say there's a lot of people in involved in this. Like, look at this tweet. It got 120,000 likes. There's a lot of people involved in this situation. A lot of people watching. And finally, he says, just to clarify, my 1.15 previous world record, fifth place time was not removed and is still verified. Just the 16th place 1.16 run was quote unquote, not able to be verified. I'll make a video at some point regarding it, but for now, MCC tomorrow, smiley face. Now guys, look, okay, I'm no lie detector, but <laughs> judging by his response, to me, this feels like classic deflection. Like, he seems overly defensive you know like if i was on the jury like i'd be like yo that that's that's some good data bro like to be honest i got no response that, that was a good video i don't even know how to cheat that's crazy man dang yeah it uh it does look bad for me bro <laughs> Like, I'd be kind of like, dang, that's that's crazy. That's the, my only response that I would have. But anyway, in these tweets, it feels like he's trying to discredit the video and the moderators and even rally up his fan base so he can get ready to go to war. Also, I just want to point out that this 16th place speedrun was apparently at the time it was a top five. It's only 16th now because time has went by. So it might seem like people are arguing over some 16th place run, you know, that would normally not really matter too much. But when the run was originally made, he was top five in the world, which was a big deal. Now, guys, surprisingly enough, when you go into Dream's Twitter reply, there's a lot of people who are rallying up against dream stands. I mean, the stands are there and are in full force denying everything and saying that anyone and everyone who believes in this conspiracy are big stupid poo poo heads and should leave dream alone. They also believe that he just got really lucky. That's their defense. And look, my dudes, okay? My guys, all right? If you're a dream stand, that's fine, okay? That's your business. Live your life. I'm not your dad. But you can't deny math, dude. Like, you can't deny the numbers, bro. <laughs> One and 7.5 trillion is not happening, okay? It just isn't. Like, have you heard of the Drake equation? Of course you haven't, okay? I watched the video, which makes me smarter than you, okay? So now I know what the Drake equation is. Some guy who's smarter than all of us combined said that the odds of a habitable zone planet ever hosting a technological species, which is us, is about 1 in 60 billion. Guys, a trillion is 1 thousand billions and seven trillion is seven thousand billions like man y'all about to make me bring up that whole pokemon versus lions debate 2.0 up in here with these mathematical amounts so yeah believing that dream just got lucky is like believing that the odds of the earth being brought into existence 
multiple times over is more probable. In my opinion, Dream probably cheated. And I say the word probably on purpose because we're literally talking about probability. I'm really curious to see how Dream is going to respond and fight against this 1 in 7.5 trillion mathematical equation that I will now deem the geo squared theory. Anyway, that's all I have for this episode of Laid Omni. You've just been laid. Moral of the story, cheaters never win. Psych. <laughs> this ain't the end of a G.I. Joe cartoon, kids. Cheaters always win as long as you get away with it. All my college friends who cheated through college and got those 4.0s, got nice comfy jobs on the way out, okay? So I'm not saying you should cheat, but if you're dumb enough to cheat, you better be smart enough to not get caught. Anyway, how do you guys feel about the situation, okay? Do you guys think he cheated? Do you think he's safe? Do you care? Do you not care? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be reading them, okay? I'm out. I won't waste your time. I'd appreciate if you guys watched until the end of the video if you dropped a like and super appreciate it if you subscribed if you haven't already. We're still gunning for 200,000 subscribers by the end of the year, but wouldn't it be cool if we could get that like for Christmas? Like that would be a really cool cool Christmas gift. So uh, yeah, if you haven't already hit the button, hit the bell notification, come through, okay? I'll see y'all soon. You guys have a great weekend. Stay safe, stay warm, stay hydrated, and have a good one.